Hi everyone, it's the Veiled Catholic, your sister in Christ. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. <clears throat> um, today is January 6, 2011. And um, today's quote is Saint Rafaela Maria Porras. Have a good appetite. God does not want his spouse to look as though he fed them on lizards. Saint Rafaela Maria Porras. Today's reading is Genesis chapter 11 and 12. And Mark chapter 2 verses 13 through 17. Um, for today's readings, I don't really have any questions. Um, but I just wanted to say that what it really talks about is the majority is um, a person had a certain amount of kids and then they died at a certain age the majority of those two um, chapters Genesis 11 and 12 are basically what talks about that um, and also it talks about how Abraham was told by God to go to Egypt and um, that um, God was going to make him a great man. Also, Abraham told his wife, Sarai, let me see, Sarai is her name? Yes, he told his wife, Sarai, that... Um, that when they got to Egypt to tell the Pharaoh that he was his sister instead of his wife that because if because she was so beautiful that um, if she said that she was his wife that they would kill him but in fact um, I'm gonna read a little part right here it's chapter 12 verse 17 but the Lord afflicted Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai's because of Sarai, Abraham's wife. So Pharaoh called Abraham and said, "What is this you have done to me? Why didn't why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister? So that I took her for my wife?" Now then, here is your wife, take her and be gone. And Pharaoh gave men orders concerning him, and they set him on the way with his wife and all that he had. So, um, I believe this is saying that God didn't want Abraham to lie to Pharaoh. So that's why God afflicted Pharaoh and his um, house with plagues. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, I also wanted to share uh, my head covering. I'm going to turn around so you can get a better look of it. This is a head covering that I received from a wonderful sister. Um, her YouTube channel is Radically for Jesus and her website is www.covered4him.com. I will post um, both links 
um, under this video. She gave me this veil and um, a couple others. I I absolutely love this veil. It I know I look like a nun with it on, but it's it's uh it suits me, and um, you know it looks Catholic, a hundred percent. To me, it looks Catholic. Uh, I wanted to show you all the quality, the quality of the veil. In my when I do other videos, I will, I will show in the other two coverings. Okay. The quality in the stitching is very precise. This covering, look, she put a, an interface here and with these ties so I can tie them behind my neck. Another thing that I that I saw that that you can tell that this covering is of great quality is not on not only the fabric that it's very movable, it's um, flowy. Another thing that I saw is the edging, the border. I'm gonna show you up close how it looks. But she did she did an awesome job on this veil and the other ones. Um, I really like I think this one suits me the most. It's uh it, it has a Catholic feel to it. And that's what I'm trying to get a Catholic looking veil. And what you do is just tie these in the back, in the back of your neck. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.